U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, along with Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox, Congressman James Clyburn, and Columbia Mayor Steve Benjamin, getting serious about fixing infrastructure in South Carolina and across the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden. The United States of America ranks 28th in the world in modern infrastructure. We shouldn't rank 28th in the world in anything. Vice President Joe Biden touring South Carolina Wednesday, telling a crowd at Columbia's Owen Steele that the U.S. needs the most modern infrastructure possible to compete with the rest of the world. Or else business will go where they can get their product to market the quickest, the cheapest, most economically and the safest. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox says as the population continues to increase, so does the need for transportation. Not only are we going to have 70 million more people over the next 30 years, we're going to have 45 percent increases in freight volume. President Obama and Vice President Biden's infrastructure plan called the Grow America Act is a $478 billion investment in infrastructure like roads, rail and ports. The act guarantees funding for several years that each state can count on. South Carolina's Infrastructure Bank recently provided $10 million for the initial engineering and environmental studies. They came up with a proposed solution called Carolina's Crossroads Project, which involves restructuring the I-20 and I-26 interchange in Columbia, adding additional lanes and reducing congestion. It would take 8 to 10 years to build and would cost between seven and $800 million. But finding funding has been a struggle at the State House. All they need, the state, is the certainty of federal support to finish the job. That's what we're prepared to offer. Biden says they will cover the cost by lowering taxes for corporate America, cutting the tax rate from 35 percent down to 28 percent. If we do that one time, lower everyone's rate, eliminate the loopholes, we will generate that year over two hundred billion dollars. The vice president says the question is not what is the cost of doing this, but what's the cost of doing nothing? I promise you it will be loss of industry, loss of business, loss of opportunity. Republicans have not shown support of the president's Grow America Act as they released a proposal to use money from cuts at the U.S. Postal Service to pay for a one-year extension of the current bill. In Columbia, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.